Speaker Robin Voss in Wisconsin has failed the petition by supporters of former President Trump was shut down by the Wisconsin Elections Commission at its meeting today. Our Braden Ross was in the room when they made the call, and she explains what you need to know about it. This is Robin Voss. He's the state assembly speaker, the top Republican in Wisconsin, and some of his own party want him out of office. He's failing on basically every avenue for so many people. More than 6,000 people signed a petition to force a recall election for Voss after he refused to decertify the election of President Joe Biden in Wisconsin. But the Wisconsin Elections Commission decided today not all of those signatures count. Wisconsin's new legislative maps made it complicated, leaving the commission to decide if the recall would move forward. So this is the question the commission had to answer today, and it all comes down to maps. This is the district that elected Robin Voss in 2022. In this district, supporters of former President Trump were able to rack up just enough signatures to trigger a recall vote. But we have new maps, and in the new district, they fell more than 3,000 signatures short. So the question is, which maps stand? But it turns out the commission didn't even get that far. The commission finds that the petition is insufficient regarding 2022 AD 63 because fewer than 25% of the number of electors who cast a vote for governor in the last election within that territory signed the petition. Remember how petitioners got just enough signatures to trigger the vote in the old district? Well, that thin margin was just 16 signatures. But today, the commission threw out 188 of those signatures, saying they were collected after the deadline and therefore couldn't be counted. Now, the commission voted 4-2, to two, a bipartisan vote, to find the petition insufficient to trigger a recall. Commissioner Mark Thompson, a Democratic appointee, was strongly opposed to that decision, saying he believes the petitioners have a constitutional right to recall and that vote would reflect poorly on the commission. Robin Voss, by the way, is up for election in his new district this coming November. Meanwhile,